The Bible says, fill your hungry soul with what's good. When we eat, we share, we grow. Every meal is a chance to be fed and to feed someone else. Life is like cooking. When it works, it doesn't matter if the process is fancy or simple. Good food and a life well lived comes down to how much heart you put in. Welcome back. I cannot believe that it is June already. For this month, we're gonna be focusing on breakfast foods. And one of the reasons that I wanted to do that is because June is kind of a special month around here. Not only does Father's Day fall in June, but also my husband and I celebrate our anniversary in June. And some of his favorite foods on the planet are breakfast foods. So the first recipe that I wanna show you is poached eggs. And they are Dieter's favorite thing of all time. If you asked him if he could have one meal for the rest of his life, it would absolutely be poached egg with a little bit of tomato on a good piece of sourdough bread. And so that's what we're gonna be making today. As I was preparing to show you how I poach my eggs, it got me thinking about how we approach difficult things in our lives. And yeah, it's just a poached egg, but I mean, everybody and their brother has a way that you can have the perfect poached egg, right? You can look up and you can watch a dozen videos or read a dozen recipes and everybody's got the special technique and the special way that they do it. And I started to think about things that seem difficult in our lives and how we accomplish those things. And I got to thinking about a quote that I remembered and actually it was from Zig Ziglar. And he said, you are designed for accomplishment, engineered for success and endowed with the seeds of greatness. And I love that so much. And what we say around here, at kind of similar, is the universe is conspiring in your favor. And we really believe that. So whether you're doing something simple like poaching an egg, or something super complicated like defending your thesis for your PhD, you are designed for that. You are prepared for that. You have whatever it is inside you to get to that accomplishment. And I so love that. So if you're facing something today that you're practicing or might seem difficult the first time you try it, know that you can do it and know that everybody here is rooting for you. I'm rooting for you. And I'm sure there's people all around in your life, your friends and family who are rooting for you too. So let's start out poaching these eggs because we are designed for success and we are going to poach these eggs to the best of our ability today. Because poached eggs happen so quickly, we wanna prepare all of the stuff beforehand. So we're gonna have some slices of bread and some slices of tomato already prepared. And I always like to toast the bread a little bit too. I started poaching my eggs this way a couple of years ago, and I have never had an egg turn out poorly. What we wanna do is we wanna drain the wateriness around the actual white of the egg, the egg white. And the reason that we do that is because a lot of times we can't get really, really fresh eggs. Now, if you can get fresh eggs and you have chickens in your backyard, you, don't, you can absolutely skip this part because the fresher the egg, the more the white around the egg is intact, it's gonna be firmer and it's not gonna have a lot of that watery stuff as, as a less fresh egg is breaking down. So that's what we're gonna drain away today. So that's why I have a colander and a bowl. We're gonna start draining away the really, really liquidy whites around the core or the yolk of the egg. And that's gonna help us to prevent all of those little tendrils that come out and having a really, really messy egg. So we're not gonna be doing a vortex today and we're not gonna be even messing with all of that. First thing that you wanna do is just crack your egg very carefully and put it close to the bottom of the colander because you don't wanna break your yolk. And you can kind of pick it up and move it around a little bit and you're gonna be able to see all of 
the watery parts kind of drain away. Once the watery drains away, and you will be able to see it, you want to put them in individual containers or bowl. And I have a couple of ramekins out here just for that purpose. And we're just gonna keep doing that because today we're poaching four eggs. To six cups boiling water, we want to add a teaspoon of salt, and one tablespoon of vinegar. Now this is where the magic happens. We're going to put in one egg at a time. And you want to make sure that you space them apart. Now we're gonna put the lid on top, take it off the heat, and let them sit for three minutes. Thanks for watching. You can find the full recipe in the description box below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel.